Hi, my name is Marie Wesson. I'm owner of the Haunted Museum in Nottingham and also UK Ghost Hunts Paranormal Team. Um, we've been at this location now since the end of last year. We have previously moved from a different location. What Sorry. the f is that, man? <laughs> Don't be tall, son. It's your morons. So we're here. Could you give us one last noise before we leave? What? <laughs> That's on command. That was loud. Loud and clear. What is that? We're going to walk. What even is oh, that? I'm going to read it, guys. But that, I ain't doing it on here. We're just about to wrap up here. In this loud bang, these loud bangs from upstairs, I don't know what they are. Um, yeah, we've got to go up and check them out. Jesus. Artifacts that we've actually got here, we've got everything from divot boxes, human schools, Viking skeletons, taxidermy, dolls from Doll Island. Um, we there's just so so much uh, shrunken heads. Um, so yeah, not just alleged haunted items, um, but also oddities as well. We've also got a Diana annual as well that was from the Enfield haunting. Um, in the book as well, it has got the pictures that Margaret and Janet did actually draw, draw themselves and we've had that clarified and you can see that here at the museum as well. That is really, really cool. It's one of my favourite pieces to be fair. This is Elizabeth. She is a real human skull. But the reason we know that she's female is because the forehead goes straight down on a male it protrudes out more and so does the brow bone. So she's over 100 years old and she has got spirit attachment. She shows herself as shadow form, which we do see quite often, and she absolutely loves attention. We do have another school that our visitors get to hold as well. Um, but if they hold that one and not Elizabeth, it's just that actually have to face the consequences after everybody's gone home because she does get rather jealous. We've also had a lady singing to us, a little girl that likes to say hello. Near the hearse, we do have a male figure that stands there quite regular. Um, not only me, but visitors have actually seen her as well. The hearse handle has been caught moving, which you can see on the monitors. The dolls in the doll room will turn round. Um, I know this sounds daft, but even the toilet will flush on its own when there's nobody in the building. I know that sounds daft, but it really happened. Uh, so yeah, we do get a lot of happenings. Clothes being pulled, hand feeling like someone's trying to hold your hand. Um, yeah, it all happens. So we are actually uncovering at the moment another area. We just thought it was a room under the stairs, cupboard, until we started delving a bit deeper and then we found a step, um, then uncovered another step, and now there's about 13 steps with a cave and tunnels leading off them, and that'll be open really soon as well. So if you do want to come and visit us, we are open seven days a week, 11 till six, and there's just so much to see. So things that you won't see anywhere else. So it is really worth coming to our block. It's not all doom and gloom. We do have some comical bits as well, just to bring the mood up a little bit. So it's not all about death and hauntings and things like that. So there's a mixture here. So yeah, come and see us.
we're going to do right now is we're going to tour this haunted museum and take you around, show you all the rooms, show you some of the pretty cool artifacts and some of the oddities that they've got inside this place. It's pretty amazing. We did investigate the haunted museum a few years back in Nottingham, but they've obviously relocated it and they've changed a lot of it all up. We're going to have a, another walk around. Got a few cameras already set up and we're going to see if we can see if any spirits have come from the old the museum cinema to house this room. one. Yeah. yeah, the old cinema house. Because last, because if you haven't watched that video, go and watch that video before you watch this video because there was some amazing stuff in that video yeah. and really enjoyed it. So we'll just get upstairs. We'll get, or we could start down here, whichever you want to do. What do you want to do? Well, we'll just go through this room first. Um, now this did used to be at the old museum, uh, the casket. Do you reckon they had to get rid of a lot, a lot of stuff? Um, I don't know. I think they just condensed down, but I don't think they've actually got rid of anything. Steve, the owner of the museum, actually told me he they, they put his dad inside the casket. His dad passed away a year ago because he was a massive fan of the museum. Um, his ashes, I believe, are on just top of the casket, which is pretty cool. Okay. So he's, he's, he's a part of the museum now as well. Oh snap. Right in there. Now this, Jace, this is probably one of the most fascinating things of the museum, isn't it, this bit? Oh, I absolutely love what he's done here. I mean, some people might think to themselves, I might turn around and go, hmm, that's a little bit. But again, if, you, if you've look, got a good sense of humour, and all of these rats he didn't go and kill, he basically got them from... Um, yeah. Where they do, do you know, like how they feed snakes and stuff? The pet store. The pet store, they're already dead. So, and basically, he's just made a little art collection out of them. There's a taxidermy, he's taxidermy them all, isn't he? Yeah, he's taxidermy them all and basically made little um, little scenes out of them. And I think, I do think them all got, got quite good, to be honest. Yeah, they're amazing. And then you've got Ratabelle. Some amazing ones yeah, he's got. Got some lipstick on it. I mean that one's evil. Like it does say evil on the on the old right there. It says evil. Now this is my favourite artifact of the museum. Now Well you've already spoiled it. That's the pinnacle. Well it's it's just where it is, ain't it? The book from the Enfield Hauntings. If you can see in that picture right there, um the famous photo of Janet jumping or being levitated off the bed. You can see the book on the fireplace. And this has been confirmed to be that very book by Janet herself, you know, because it's got the drawings Margaret. and stuff like that. Janet or Margaret, well, they're both the same, well, sisters. This is a lot of people's favourite room, the doll room. Now, Steve did say a lot of these dolls came from the Mexican doll island. Doll island, doll island yeah. The so, Mexican doll island. A lot of these come from there. He's got a crazy collection, to be fair. Yes, is not it? Um, pick your favourite one. There's some good ones. Which one's your favourite, would you say, Jess? Yeah, there. This one has just been donated to the museum, I believe. Um, yeah, she's my favourite. And a nice pram as well. Because she just seems chill. All the other seems to have got a problem. Like he's upside down. You know, that one there. He's got more of them just being upside down. Where's his body? That's what I mean, he's missing something. Norris head from The Thing, one of my favourite movies of all time, John Carpenter and the legend Kerr Russell. They've done quite a few films together, they've done uh, Escape from New York, Escape from LA, I believe Elvis as well, they've done an, El an Elvis film back in the 70s. And my favourite film, one of my favourite films of all time, Big Trouble in Little China. Obviously Mortal Kombat was based off Big Trouble in El China. I'm not sure how many people know that, but a bit of trivia for you. 
done yeah that famous scene of the head when he comes off the body and chases the other members amazing now none of these are like replicas or anything like that these are just like some of his movie collection things um Marie and Steve don't like this doll, George. I don't like him. Um, this doll was made in memory of a man named George. I mean, look, look at him. Imagine that's the memory you left. He's got your eyes, Jace. Yeah. Really? Them big blue, big blues. Looks evil from here. He's evil. That yeah. could be the thumbnail. George. Right there. George Griffiths. My little brother. Little. He is little. Not How tall is George? 5'11". Mm. Yeah, yeah, that big, is yeah. it? He had an off period when he was conceived. Yeah. <laughs> so that's the one woman there. <laughs> then we're going into a replica of Denby. Yeah. Denby Mental Asylum, where me and Griff have visited once before yeah we did we visited with um pd oh yeah these sheets these metal storage containers these are from denby yep i believe some of this is from denby as well that's all in here i mean how does he get his hands on all this stuff <sighs> I have, it's quite, well he said, he said it's just connections and people and, and, and stuff like that isn't it but it is absolutely amazing i mean i'd like to take a closer look at that um diagram of a hand oh yeah i don't know what it it looks like a hand like gangrene or something ain't it? i think that's what it might be like it's fresh bloat oh it's some active decay it's decay Ugh. stages of decay ah okay Anyone that knows me will know The Exorcist is one of the greatest films ever made, in my opinion. So to have a Reagan doll chilling in bed with who Griff says is Steve Merchant <laughs> doing is. The Exorcism. It really is Steve Merchant. He's pretty cool. And look at that, on the belly you've got the, the famous Help Me, which is quite cool because I've actually got the shirt on Right now, the exorcist with that very quote. Sure, I'm still. Help me. She's right there. That'd be one person that would be amazing to do an investigation with. What, Reagan? If we got Linda Blair, the actress who played Reagan. Now, this bed, as it says here, this bed that Reagan liaison has been used in an actual exorcism um, it lasted seven days and nights and yeah this is where steel will be doing most of his work tonight uh, it was from a lady in her late 50s so yeah this bed has actually been used in an exorcism This bed's pretty historic. It was featured in an exorcism of a lady who was in her 50s. Is there anything still connected to this bed? Is there an evil spirit? that possessed that lady or them years ago. Are you still here? Empty. Empty? What's empty? Is 
Is the room empty? Currently in the... It's the cave system with the pet cemetery and the grave that was found that was already in this building. The grave was in here um, and it had been covered up for 40 years, 40 plus years or something like that. I've got, a, I've got an app on my phone, just going to use it because obviously we're trying to check out these, um, these phones to see whether they do have some kind of way of you talking to them. Or through them, I should say. They do have some kind of way of you talking to them. Or through them, I should say. The legend. They do have some kind of way of you talking to them. Or through them, I should say. Now, tunnel. <laughs> see what I mean? I'm in a tunnel. It's a tunnel. What's going on? So the, I mean, there are all skulls on the wall as well. There's a lot of stuff that could be tied to spirits here, and that being the case, I'm calling any spirits that can hear me. I'm calling anybody that can hear me. That was very weird. It's like I, I asked, I said oh, I'm called, I had to lower it because of the height of the ceiling. I'm calling anyone that can hear me and I heard a, oh. I'm calling anybody that can hear me. Is there anything still connected to this bed? I'm calling anybody that can hear me. When we were here, well, when we was at the other museum, we captured something that sounded like loud banging, following us around the building. If that was a spirit that night, are you, are you here now? Is this your new home? Just, just, the Steve Merchant behind me just scared the crap out of me. Could you make a sound for me within this room to show me that you are here and you can hear me? To find out if there's anything that's in this museum that likes some items in the museum. Or maybe you're attached to the items in the museum. If that is the case and there is a specific item that you like, could you go and knock the cabinet that you like? That was loud. That was loud. Could you tell me if the devil is real? If there's any truth to people being able to get possessed? But if there's something demonic in this world, then surely this is the room to be in. I mean, look how it's look how it's themed. We've got anti crosses all over the place. I did just hear a knock. Look how it's themed. We've got anti crosses all over the place. I did just hear a knock. Look how it's themed. 
You've got anti-crosses all over the place. I did just hear a knock. We are currently underground. It's old stand sandstone. Been carved out into a cave or a tunnel. As you said on the app. Could you repeat that word to solidate it? The fact that you said it. Devil. Fuck's sake. We fucked there, guys. It said devil. You are an entertaining character, Lucifer. But if I remember correctly, you were once an angel. Possessed. Jesus. We've got some we've got some right words coming out here, guys. I'm not even joking. So let me have a look at this. <laughs> Blessed. It's pretty good. Stephen. It's the first time my name has ever come up. So it's it. Blessed. Now it's coming through. Be blessed. Okay, spirit. Are you telling me that this room, this bed, this place is—it's been blessed? Is that what you're telling me? Because judging by from what I'm seeing, like the information in front of me, the artifacts. They are blessing tools. I'm sure the bed got blessed as well. Blessings was, was done to drive out the evil spirit. And you're coming through saying blessed. You even said my name, Stephen, the first time ever that's come, ever, ever come through on the ghost tube. Do you have the power to do anything? To give me a sign of paranormal activity. I know people like the words of the ghost tube. But is there, what, is there a way we could have some kind of activity on camera? Weak. Some good words coming up on this. Are you telling me that you're weak? Do you not have the energy to perform some kind of paranormal activity? at this moment. That's perfectly fine. We know that it must take a lot of energy to do something like that. The thing is, is whether you believe in spirit to God, um, the devil, you have to believe in one or the other. Well, one. You can't believe in one without the other. There's always evil amongst good. So there's always a devil amongst God. And now, like, I don't, I, you know, even though I'm not a religious man anymore, and when I was religious, you know, you wouldn't want anything to do with the devil. If someone said the devil, we're getting out of here now, because the devil's in this room. And it is a serious remark, even though a phone said it. If the devil is in this building with us now it's truly evil and it's willing to just change your mindset change the way that you think then you need to not be in here so it's kind of like you have to be strong-willed strong-minded and push those negatives away 
because it's not so much sometimes you just hearing the name the devil devil can be a point where you gotta go but if the devil is in this room is in, in, the, in these areas with us I understand he can't have good without evil but I am asking you the powerful one do something that proves to me that you're here do something outlandish Well, that was pretty interesting. Griff getting devil, devil possessed. But well, I'm talking about possessions and everything. <sighs> Jesus Christ. It's, I, don't, yeah, I don't know. I don't know if that is something I can get used to walking up with a girl spread out like that. That's new for me. You're going to switch positions. Griff's going to come up here. see if anything happens here. Griff did say he heard a shuffle and he kept hearing um, well the ghost you kept saying devil, devil. So we'll see if we can get anything over here. So I'm just going to go into this little section. Now well, as I said earlier these two artifacts are meant to be the most haunted well, something's connected to them. That's very powerful. The spirits that are connected to these skulls. Could you give me a sign? If possible. I'm just going to step back a bit. Well, actually, I'm just going to move outside the crypt. Just move outside the crypt. And if they can give me a sign... That'd be incredible. Big Steve Merchant. Big fan. Glad you're here, son. I mean, you think ghosts are real anyway. So, point was talking to you about this. And I don't know why you're performing an exorcism, kid. Anyway. Well, there she is. First time me seeing her. In the dark, so so. There's a lot of devil talk downstairs. And I mean, when you've watched the films, and well, the film, I say, and you see her sitting here like this, it's proper evil. Hell. Flipping hell. I don't know what's going on with this app today. Seems to be very demonic. What's the relevance to the number 25? Is that how many spirits are inside the building? The horn this location? Is that your age? Let us know. I hope the camera's picked that up. That come from up above. Now I can check back on Griff's camera to see if it was him. But right above me, that was like a... <laughs> he was like a loud rumble. We are in Nottingham though, if you ever want to come to this museum, this museum is open and I will tell you something that will get me out If you throw something off one of the cabinets No, 
knock one of the crosses off. That'll make me think. It's just horrible looking at her face. Ooh. If anyone can hear me. I'm just happy to get those even louder. That was very loud. There's nothing above us. The roof's on the top floor. Could you walk towards me? As a shadow figure. Whatever you can. Please use all the energy that's around you and walk towards me so we can show the world that you're real. The, the, the hard thing about being in these rooms is, guys, that it's difficult to get loads of shots and that of, of the things because we're in a, such a compact room. But the bonus of being in a compact room is that if we hear something within the room, we're gonna, it's gonna be good, so, yeah. That's what I'm hoping for. It's proper surreal just seeing her there though. Because it's a really good replica. It's obviously an ambulance. The power of Christ compels you. The power of Christ compels you. Have you got anything to say about that? The power of Christ compels you. How good would it be if she just looked straight at the camera and went, fuck off. I'm gonna go upstairs. This camera is gonna be rolling, recording and filming. Hopefully it'll capture something. It's facing the Dibbuk box. And yeah, we're gonna finish the investigation up together. A vigil upstairs in the, in the doll room. But literally, all I'm asking for to have a conversation is this. Yeah. That's it. And do you know how easy that is? Well, for us. Yeah, but it's like just a noise, like oh, just this. Yeah. Or. Be great, wouldn't it? But that's just a, that's just all I'm asking for. If I could get that, then I could say, make that noise when I get to the letter of your name. Yeah. And we could be here for hours having a proper oh, conversation. Yeah, that'd be, it'd be amazing. I'd, I'd and that's, so that's all I'm asking for, guys. I ain't asking for a lot. You know. But the, the ghost tube's been pretty good though tonight. <laughs> Amazing. It's yeah. like they've had an update or something. Because <laughs> I've never heard afterwards that they said today. Well, it said my name. I oh, know. It said my name's Stephen. So, I mean, we've. Blessed. We have, yeah. while, while in the exorcism room, blessed. So, so, we've had a few words come through the the app on both of us, and this is both of us. Yeah. Like, I've had my app running, Steve's had his app running. And literally, both of us have had words that have atoned to the place we were at the time. Yeah. So, you know, it's kind of weird, but you know, you've got to take it with a pinch of salt still. Oh, always, yeah, definitely. So, which is, which is annoying. But now we're gonna... We're just in the doll room. Gonna finish up, wrap up in the doll room. I mean, I feel like this doll room... You they sat in the room for you. This doll room Have you grown a few away? inches? Because you weren't touching them earlier. I know, that's what I mean. So we do have two locked off cameras. Griff's got his upstairs in Reagan's room. And no, my... yours. Bible. There's one in here. It's <laughs> crazy. Is that me or you? That was me. 100%. Yeah, it wasn't. Both of us have been having like religious words. <laughs> and you've had the worst ones. He's yeah. had the devil side. The That's demonic. what I mean. You've had Bible, blessed, blessed blessing, and blessings, yeah. and, and I've then had weak. devil, hell. 
Is that what I am, or <laughs> well, is you that can, the class me as? You can keep them ones. I love the nice ones. But it was it did come through same week quite a few times. So maybe it's just too weak to do anything at the moment. Well, maybe. Maybe it's just building. It's just a fucking app. Yeah, it could be. <laughs> Reading too much into it. <laughs> you got to know this is all we've got to work off. Work well, now this is what I said. All I want is like a little... Yeah. Just a tap. Well, let's see if we can get a tap from the hall or something. So a lot of these dolls come from... Mexico Doll Island. The Mexico Doll Island. I don't know if that's meant to be cursed or evil or religious I, mean, I know Mexico is a pretty religious country they take it a lot more serious than England I know that it's my left. I'm just looking straight down the stairs it is I'll tell you one thing about this place it gives you the heebie jeebies yeah because I've had like I've had a few um, like goosebumps that doll is going nuts behind you <laughs> now we can't confirm if Griff touched that or I've not. I've touched it, Alan. <laughs> we can't confirm. Of course we can confirm. <laughs> Just imagine that. Like you're in bed, nice. You've got a lovely room. Next door. Hear that? What was that? That was loud. Is that upstairs? Well, it's, it's kicking off all over. Outside and up there. No, that was that was, uh, it was a loud bang. I was actually scary just looking to my right then. It was just utter darkness. It sounded it sounded like it was above us. As you were talking about Reagan. Mm. Yeah, I've got a camera up there. There is a camera. But that was a really loud bang. It was like a, <sighs> yeah, like a door. Yeah. Worst thing is, there's no doors up there. We can't do nothing in here with that window. No, let's walk out. I mean, we've done this whole thing in night vision. Pretty much. I mean, we could shut this door into something in the hallway, maybe. Like to call out to each of the rooms. What's that? It's a dragon. You hear that in there then? <laughs> that was like um that was like a, a bell or like a really what? Not a bell, but like um like wood clonking together. Is there anything in there moving? Yeah, there is something moving really good. Oh my fucking, hold on. You did just walk through there, so we can't dismiss that you you, you touched that. That was the noise. But what was it banging on? Yeah, because you were, <laughs> you was looking at me. Yeah, the noise is in there. That's the noise. I've got shivers. That's it. Could that have been me? More than likely. But, but again, it you, made a you noise. Was, you were standing next to me. It made a noise afterwards, didn't it? Because, and then I said something about dragging, and then the noise happened. Surely yeah. the noise would have happened as you so walked past. So let me just see how if I walk past, what? And then I'm here, I'm talking. And then I'm like, yep, blah, 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 blah. So, then, The other one behind you is going nuts now. It's a dragon. You hear that in there then?
Yeah. But that that clunking noise didn't happen. Yeah. I've got to be careful not to fall down these stairs. It's a bit weird. Hang on. Find Mars. Some interesting responses on the on the ghost tube, and right then at the end, we was hearing like dragging, banging, and like clonking on wood or something from the doll, Bernie. Yeah, it sounded like a bit of plastic as well, like goat. Like, yeah, it was a bit weird towards there, but again, there's like so much background noise coming from the the road yeah. that we we basically had to leave that room. But it was a lot of fun coming to this museum. Very honoured and privileged that we got. Well, to be the first team to actually film and record an investigation inside this place. So massive shout out to Steve and Marie. Obviously, if you're in Nottingham, come check out this museum. It's pretty cool. What's that? A kettle? With the water system? Hello? Did something just drag? It did sound like... It's like paper falling or something. Go check it. It did. It did just sound like paper. Oh, no. Sorry about the camera. I'm on a big tripod here at the moment. Anything? Yeah, it's got to be this heater. Oh, is it the heater? Yeah. If you're in Nottingham, come check this place out. It's pretty amazing. Um, we will definitely be returning here for a round two. Been a lot of fun, ain't it, Jess? Yeah, I've actually enjoyed it. It's been really nice. It's seen all the different um, items and stuff in the building. It's really fun. I mean, the Reagan rooms just, if you're a massive fan of the Exorcist, you've got to come here anyway because yeah. you probably won't get another place that looks like that. Yeah, it's just been really fun. Um, downstairs in the cave was a little bit weird for me. Had that loud bang and. Um, Where we had tunnel. And tunnel come up on the app again, take it with a pinch of salt. But we hope you enjoyed the episode, guys. and us like all the socials facebook youtube and instagram now we've got loads on instagram people building it up so thank you very much guys and we'll catch you on the next one peace